Hello everyone and welcome again. So in this particular section we are going to discuss about object detection. As you can see object detection is a computer technology related to computer vision and image preprocessing. So computer vision is nothing but an interdisciplinary field sub field in uh, data science and machine learning that deals with how computers can be made for gaining high level understanding from digital images or videos right. So there are several tasks which are very much easier for humans, right? Like uh, detecting a particular object or recognizing a particular face. While uh, if we tell the computers to do the same thing, then it will be uh, going to be hard task for them, right? So uh, on the other end, there are several tasks which are very much easier for computers, like finding a square root of a very complex number. And uh, if a human is trying to do the same thing, then it can be a bit tricky. Okay, so object detection is one such technology which makes such task easier for computers wherein uh, we have to detect any object. Okay, so object detection actually has many practical uses like we can use object detection for face detection, detecting any faces in an image. We can use ob object detection for counting the, the people uh, basically in a mall or in a park. We can use object detection for detecting any type of vehicle, whether it is a car or a truck or even a train. Okay. We can use object detection for aerial image analysis. That means if we have particular images from a satellite, then we can find out if a particular image has a ground, has buildings, has lakes and so on. Right. And definitely we can also use it for security. Wherein, uh, let's say if in a jewelry stores, uh, we can use camera based object detection to track uh, the jewelries. Right. So whenever uh, we see that if any jewelry is going missing, then we can track it uh, with the help of this object detection. Also. So here is one of the examples in this image that you can see. This is a particular image and we have applied our object detection model on top of it. So you can see it describes various objects. Uh, it describes various buildings that we can see in the image. It can describe uh, several bags, uh, backpacks that you can see. It describes the human or uh, the people uh, in the images. It also describes the bicycle, the push cart and so on, right? So some object detection models are very much robust that it can describe any objects uh, which are even smaller or very far away uh, from in the photo. So YOLO is one of them, okay? We will be discussing about that in the upcoming session. Right. So object detection technology has seen a rapid adoption rate like it is used in various industries and has various applications right some of them which we discussed already right so uh, others can be like it, it helps self driving cars uh, to safely navigate through traffic if we have designed a self driving car we can apply object detection on uh, model integrate object detection model in that so that uh, that car can detect if uh, there is a person in front of it or if there is a, there are signals it can also detect if the signal is red green or yellow if there is a zebra crossing so all of this uh, this object detection can help us to detect it can, it can also help us to you know uh, spot violent behavior in crowded places uh, wherein we can see if uh, two people are fighting or if there is a large group gathered so recently in corona uh, we have several use cases wherein we used to track the social distancing between two people if it is uh, six feet or not and we also used to track uh, object detection is also used to track whether a person is wearing a mask or not also uh, in india it is also used to track whether a person is wearing a helmet uh, when he is driving a two-wheeler it can also be useful to assist sports team like uh, you might see various youtube videos wherein it is described uh, that particular uh, team is using object detection to analyze their cricketing shots or their football uh, you know tracks like how, how a particular person is able to score a goal right so there are uh, various such uh, use cases that object detection can be helpful uh, to so it is widely used and it has numerous applications that you can think of right and these are the scratching the surface uh, this is just the normal applications that we have in day to day life there are various other applications which are industry specific so if you are working as a data scientist or if you are working in a specific industry you might be knowing about such use cases so yeah that's it for today's for this section we will be uh, covering about our remaining topics in the next section so see you guys later